Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, did you do the Hawaii uh, World Triathlon today? No. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> How's that? That's better. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you can hear me. Yep. Yep. Great. Yes, I'm not going to be on camera because it's 6 a.m. here. <laughs> I just yeah. don't, I'm not <laughs> camera ready. <laughs> no, sorry what? about that. I He's got his curlers in. He just spent That's cool. five, minutes, five minutes. Yes. I we stuffed up here. the time on this because of daylight saving change. Yeah. It happens. It's actually. It's 4 a.m. here. <laughs> yes. That's right. And you made yourself pretty for <laughs> for TV. Not me. <laughs> oh, Brad. Brad, I've had to do that a few times. <laughs> Well, right. at least for you, it's on Sunday. For me, it's usually Monday. Right. Oh, I, yeah. Anyway, actually, this morning is the Long Beach Marathon, and we have to get up early to do the water station anyway. So, oh, oh okay. This actually, this actually works out well <laughs> for me. Now, Chris, I sent you those minutes. Oh, thank you. I sent them a couple of hours ago. They took oh. hours to do, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Did you um? Did you send them to IFR? I sent them to you, President of IFR, or something. All right. You want me to send them to you? No, no, it's okay. That looks like the transcript. I've I've just got the attachment that I sent you. You know, it says here you go, and there's nothing else. It should be a word document. Oh, here we go. There we go. We don't need them for tonight, uh, Chris, or today. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll send them minutes from the AGM around next time. They just oh. draft. There are mistakes in it. I know. Cool. Okay. Well. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Without a secretary, I'm just a bit useless at the moment. So, beg your pardon for all of this confusion. I oh. signed. I signed the minutes as personal assistant to the IAFR. President, did you? That's good. <laughs> Un You're unpaid lackey. position. You're bloody lackey. <laughs> okay, so is the agenda? I'll just. Oh, there's two in. Brads. It's going to be confusing. <laughs> one pretty one, and bloody Fletcher. <laughs> Jesus, have you gone to sleep, Brad? Yes, I did get some sleep. I woke up early. I mean, I went to bed last night, and normally I would be getting up Monday through Friday. I would be up already, but I slept in today since it's Sunday because I went to bed much later than I normally do. Animal, party animal. No, not party animal, just staying up watching some movies. It was a Saturday night, and I kind of was watching something and doing some things. And before I realized it, it was about 1 a.m. And I thought, oh, I should probably get some sleep. There's a call in five hours. <laughs> yeah, I got working up for this one. So sorry about sorry about the time. We'll, we'll get the next one right. It happens. But anyway, I think everyone wants to either go back to sleep or go to sleep. Um, <laughs> so maybe we have this mostly because we've got to have a gay games discussion before we... Um, have the gay games in two weeks time so 
uh, unless there's anything else, maybe we should start with Wayne. Right, I've got a load of information I want to chat about. Um, I wish Alden was online, but anyway. Um, I'm not going to do it in order that you got there, Chris, because, oh, okay, we can. Social events. Um, it's already, I'm just reconfirming in the 2002 AGM, we had approved five hundred dollars for social um at Guadalajara and five hundred for Hong Kong. Um, Brad and I have organised the uh event it in Guadalajara. It's at a bar, big bar that's directly opposite the huge cathedral in the main square. Um, we have been putting stuff on Facebook. Um. We need as much help as possible. So those of you doing Instagram or I, so I don't Martin know, and Woody. Facebook and yeah, anything that you can help us with by getting the word out there. We've got loads of information that's come in in the last 48 hours. Um, they've closed registration. They're starting to give out a lot of information. So um and we've been pestering them. They've finally come back with a whole bunch of information. So uh, we're going to do a social on the Tuesday night. I think it's the 7th of November. It's at 6.30. Um, and Brad and I are organising uh, drinks and some finger food and stuff like that. And it will be um, at that bar, which I've... It's In English, it means the old umbrella. But it's directly opposite the cathedral. So it's right where the main train station is, the main plaza, uh, any buses that people might want to go to get and use. Um, and I've made sure that track and field is definitely finished by then. There are no runs on that day. The um, next run is the 5K on the Wednesday night. So they've got, you know, if they want to have a drink or two, they can. It should not interfere with anybody. And already I'm getting people saying, I want to come, I want to come, and that's fine. Um, there's nothing arranged in Hong Kong. I've asked the Hong Kong front runner group to do something. We've heard nothing from them. I can chase them up, and I will, but um, it's difficult. It's difficult because groups getting together and being bloody gays, getting together could possibly cause a problem. So um, I think the out for runners are scared of that. Um, hey, Wayne. We can... um, with... Sorry, oh, Brad? Sorry. Um, with regard to the social event, do people have to RSVP or anything um, before? We'll sort something out, Brad. We will, but we'll, um, yes, we'll we'll sort something out. The, um, the marathon would have already been on. I've heard from a few clubs uh san diego mostly that some people are just coming down for a couple of days they're going to come on friday night do the marathon on sunday and go on monday um oh. I went, oh my god but anyway um you know um i guess that's modern life and that's what people do some people are going on tuesday some people are going on wednesday some people are flying in on monday because they're only going to do the 5k and the 10k it's too confusing, but we will. <laughs> um, we've got plenty of money. We've uh, the bar's big; it can hold extra. Um, we will. Um, Brad Fletcher and myself will be out and about doing stuff, and as we see people, we can alter the numbers. The bar has already uh, confirmed with us that we can have the venue. Okay. So the date for that, Wayne? Sorry. Uh, I think it's Tuesday the seventh. Let me have a look. It's my glasses off. Tuesday the seventh of November. Right, from six thirty to eight thirty. Six thirty, yeah, yeah. And I shared with them that we might be running later, depending upon the people, but but yeah, and they have a couple of cabanas out front. And the nice thing is, is that everything is no smoking now. Uh, when Wayne and I were there before, one of the cabanas was a smoking only, the other one was non-smoking. But now due to Mexican government rules, it's no smoking everywhere. So it's wonderful. Hooray. Yeah. Um, so that will be our big event. Um, 
Right. There's more social events. There's uh, San Diego front runners wanted to get involved. Uh, David Weir, do you know him, Brad? Brad M. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, you don't? And no, he's been I don't. Quite a few gay games, and he knows me. I'm trying. I've had a look at his profile, but he do, it doesn't ring a bell. But anyway, um, and as you know, we went to San Diego a long time ago. Uh, right. for, for Aga for AGM. Um, uh, he has volunteered, and I've given him some suggested bar Italian bars in the nicer area of uh, Guadalajara. And I have sent him a message today again saying, has he picked a venue? Um, because people have already started saying they're interested in going to the pasta party. And that will be on the Friday night. The Friday, the 3rd of November. And um, it'll be at an Italian restaurant probably just west of the city centre. It's also the gay area. The nice area is the gay area, as it always is. <laughs> well, not the city, <laughs> is it? but anyway. But... <laughs> um, uh, there won't be a social event in Hong Kong. Once again, for the same reasons. Uh, and David, we uh, at this stage is going to look after it and um, and coordinate. So that's great that we're getting um, non IFR people. W E I R, I think, in San Diego. Yeah. Uh, once again, we'll put these details up. I have already started putting details up as they come in, but that pasta party has not been done. Yet the uh, umbrella bar definitely has already gone up. Uh, the other social thing is um, uh, at Guadalajara, I've already talked to the organiser. We're going to try and arrange a handbag toss on the Thursday. The Thursday for, is the last day of track and field. Um, uh, and we will have a some sort of event we will organize it once we're there uh we he's quite okay he just wants us to sort out a time and i'm going to work with uh the, the head guy from uh guadalajara he's quite happy to do it um it'll hopefully attract more people to the, <laughs> to the track uh so that's something else we will do have i missed anything out brad f Got the, as in social events. I don't think so. Um, unless you want to talk about some money or anything like that. Uh, no, that'll I'll, I'll bring that up separate. Um, okay. So that was the pasta party point C. Let's go into the. Uh, I don't know. It's the International Rainbow Memorial Run. I R M R. Oh. Uh, Chris, so it's I wonder what that was. <laughs> it's all right. I looked at it and I went, I, don't, I, think, it, I think he means IRMR. Um, <laughs> um, just put IRMR. Oh, all right. Um, Hong Kong have given us a whole bunch of information. Hooray. The Rainbow Run will start in front of the Cabanas Museum. It's starting at 9 a.m. Uh, there will be some warm-up activities, but we will have gone by 10. Includes running and walking. Uh, the distance, they're not very sure how far it is, but it's a loop. Uh, the, it's a loop. We'll end at the same point we started. We will be back within an hour or so. So it's only a couple of Ks. Um, originally, they were talking about walking into the city. He sent me a map, and it's actually on their website, so they've already posted it in the last 24 hours, which is great. Um you don't need to register for it. They're expecting 1,500 people. Well, uh, the Federation of Gay Games might have something to say about that because it's not supposed to be a big fun event. It's supposed to be a memorial event. But anyway, uh, that's I'm leaving the Federation to do that. Our part is done. Uh, we have to look after the run slash walk. 
and that's under control. Um, there'll be T-shirts for the first about five or 600 people that arrive, um, and we will go further into that with them. We're, uh, that's something else to do before we arrive. You don't need to register, uh, and I am taking my RM uh, flag from Sydney because I believe I'm now the only person in the whole world that's still got one. The other two have been missing. We don't know where they are. But that's another story. Um, the IRMR in Hong Kong. Uh, there's nothing on their website, but I do know that they're changing venues. It was originally, if you recall, was going to be at dawn, well, before dawn, and the idea was to uh, be at the top of Victoria Peak, which is a gigantic mountain in this in on an island, and you were going to see dawn, and we were going to do a. It was a very short run. It was like a K, and we would be back to see the dawn and do the quilt and do the memorial moment and have a quick breakfast and then go because once again numbers were going to be limited to uh, just a few hundred. They now want to change it. They want to make it bigger than a few hundred. It will be large. <laughs> and I haven't. they haven't yet confirmed the venue once again because of rules in Hong Kong about gathering. And it's the very first gathering event of the Gay Games. They don't want any hassle. Um, so we don't know about Hong Kong. Now, uh, what, date, what date is it? Sorry, Wayne. Uh, that'll be Saturday the 4th. Opening ceremonies. Uh, it's always on the day of the opening ceremony. So it's and it goes from nine till ten. Nine a.m. to ten p.m. Ten to ten a.m. Uh, in Guadalajara, it will be nine a.m. till about eleven. Allow. So in Hong Hong Kong, you don't know? No, I don't know. They, they it was going to be like six a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's they want to change it. You've got to remember Hong Kong's had a change of regime of the organisers and what previous organisers had in mind cannot now happen. So Guadalajara starts at nine. Yeah, yeah. And so HK will also be on the fourth? Hong Kong to be advised, but it should be roughly the same time. They have to get it over and done with because Hong Kong's opening ceremony is earlier than Guadalajara. In fact, Hong Kong's having their opening ceremony in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Are you still going to Hong Kong? Sorry? Asking Buddy. Buddy's asleep. Hi. I, can, I, I heard like Ian or something. Like That wasn't my name. Yep, I'm going to Hong Kong in two weeks' time, so I'll send your regards as well to them. No, no, no. Um, Answer my question. Are they? Yeah. Have you heard anything about the rainbow flag run or have you heard about anything to do with um, what time opening ceremony is? Um, no, like, you know, I only got the dates for the trail runs and stuff, but then not. No, no, I haven't no. got that. No, I, I haven't got it either. I do believe the opening ceremony is going to be at four o'clock. It's quite early. <laughs> So they'll have to get the rainbow stuff done early again. That was another reason why they, yeah, it was all going to be super early. Once we get information, I will post it. But it's awkward because it doesn't seem that international front runner members are well in attendance at that event, as compared to Guadalajara. Okay. So yeah, is that there will be people there, but I um yes, there will be people who, we, you know if somebody puts their hand up we we will help them. So from this committee, yeah, you're you're gonna be there and Brad uh, F is gonna be in Guadalajara for They're the both whole thing. In Guadalajara, yeah, yeah. And Buddy, you're gonna be in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Oh. Mm -hmm. going to is Hong any Kong. anybody else going to Hong Kong? I believe not. Then Woody's in charge. I yeah. am going to be there and I'm going to be trying to look for people who might want to start front runners clubs all over Asia Pacific. So yeah. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So um that's the rainbow run. It's looking much more exciting than what we had hoped. <laughs> uh right, events. 
in Guadalajara, the races uh, marathon and half marathon on a Sunday morning. It's part of the public one. Already we're getting questions. I, I stupidly put a post up in in the Facebook page saying, does anybody have any questions? And we started getting lots. Um, um, the marathon's on the Sunday morning. It will start very early. It's just after the opening ceremony. It's going. It will affect those people. Um, and it's part of the public mass ma uh, marathon, and there so there'll be thousands doing it. Uh, the procedure that I heard was you will you'll be ready, set, go, and you'll all go off together. But the people in from the gay games when they finish will have a different finishing shoot. Hmm. That's what we've been told. I haven't had it any changes. Uh, but uh, uh, CC from Philadelphia raised a very good question. How will we know if you are in the marathon that with if you who you're racing against? Um, and I that was a very good question, and I went, I have no idea. Um, uh, not that I think thousands are doing it, there'll be maybe a hundred or so doing it. It doesn't really matter for Guadalajara organizers because all they've got to do is. Um, they're just being part of a, another event, and it's just a side event, really. Uh, so, and also, there's a half marathon. Uh, Hong Kong today released the maps of where they're going, and it's changed. It's changed significantly. The Hong Kong marathon and half marathon are going to start way out. I believe it's to the west. It's a strange course. The first. One is you head 12 Ks east, then you come back 10 Ks, go back to that other 10 Ks back out east, and then come back west 10 Ks. However, we were originally told it was going to be flat. It's going to be hilly. There's about a 200 meter rise at elevation uh, each way of that 10 K sector. So it's an overall... Uh, elevation of 800 plus meters uh, i can't do anything about that it's way too late uh, we're just letting people know um, so that's the hong kong marathon they're doing the 5k the 10k on the sorry uh, yeah uh, oh the hong kong marathon is on the proper date saturday sorry sunday the Oh no, hang on. Uh, the 7th, 9th, and then the 11th? I think it's space. the 11th. That must be Saturday the 11th. The 7th is on the 7th uh, of November, Tuesday is 10 kilometer. The 9th of yes. uh, November is yes, the 5 right. kilometer. And then on sun Saturday is the marathon. Yes, yeah. And then the trail run is on Monday, the 6th of November. Ooh, so, can we get those? Do you want to get those dates down again? Oh, okay, so, cool. uh, the the five k's on the on the Tuesday mm -hmm. date. Wait, no, actually, it's the other way around. Wait, oh, is it ten k on the Tuesday? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yep. Yeah, they're doing it properly. How you how we asked them to do it? Uh, Tuesday the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five k. Thursday the ninth. Yep. Marathon. So M and HM is um Saturday. Saturday the eleventh. And that's closing ceremony day. And then the trail run is actually one day. Like you know, if you want to like put it up like above the ten K. <laughs> like trail run would be like say before be before the ten K. One day, yeah, I think it's chronological. It's okay. So that's it's Monday. Monday. The, Monday. I mean, I mean, I'm the, saying, uh, six. I was just trying okay. to say, like, trail run is on Monday, the oh. 6th of the November. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. You can remove the word before 10K. I was just trying to like, drag you to, to write above the 10K. This is all Hong Kong. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Somebody speaking? I can hear something. Maybe someone in the background of Brad, I think. Oops, right. sorry. Uh, Guadalajara. Um, so them, Guadalajara, are you right? Uh, yep. Their marathon is on Sunday the 4th. Sorry, Sunday the 5th. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yep. Um, <clears throat> the 5K is on the Wednesday the 8th. And the 10K is on Friday the 10th. They're both at night. I think it's seven o'clock, Chris. Because it's hot, is it? Uh, no, it's not hot. Uh, so they can close the roads. Ah. It's going to be in a park in Zappopan, which is a, it's like uh, a city within the city. You know, they have, we've got boroughs or suburbs. Um, mm. Zappopan's to the west. Um it's 25 k's away from track and field where we'll be <laughs> and way over the other side of town that's it by the by anything else on events uh it's in they're all the runs right okay right. now we want to um do some promoting of ifr while we're in guadalajara uh, we want to know, is it okay? Can we get some banners? Um, if we can, it, this might not happen, but we want to get some banners for international front runners and get it printed on a very light fabric so they can be transported around. Um, we want The reason we want a couple is because uh, we're going to be so far away from each other. The 5 and 10K is way over the other side of the city. Track and field's in another area. The IRMR is in the middle of the city. Um, we we will look after them. Um, they won't be expensive, uh, and we will we will source that and arrange that. But we want. I was hoping Alden was going to be online. You want some budget? So how much do you think it's yeah, going to cost? Now, I want to talk about budget because when I was doing those minutes today, um, we have already been allocated the federation delegates have been added, allocated 1500 us dollars in the budget this year the the um the agm will be held basically by zoom this year so there should be no cost and if we do have a meeting in guadalajara it will only be a few hours um and it will have to be held in conjunction with the people that are in Hong Kong as well, because some people are going to Hong Kong. The majority are going to Guadalajara. However, a big chunk are not going at all. The Europeans are uh, voting with their feet. And they're not going. So, I want. So to, you're uh, not you're not you're not um getting uh subsidized travel for this one because it's not. We a, don't get subsidized anything. <laughs> no, but you, you if you have to go to a meeting that's out of sync. You usually get like a little bit to the airfare, oh, yeah. don't you? Now, what I'm going to ask for, because you won't be, instead of IFR spending that $1,500, mm. can we use $800 and Brad and I will split it because we're going to, we want these banners and we've already gone to expense already for other things. Uh, we've had to buy um, various other uh, materials uh, and we want to use 800 of the, 1500 for to buy all this stuff that we're going to get and we're going to break it up 300 for brad and 500 for me only because i've got so much further to go and i've got to carry lots of stuff extra so it's likely luggage and crap will cost me so 300 for brad and 500 for you
Does anybody have a problem with that if it comes from that already allocated budget? I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so we just have to run it by Alden to get it to get to get him to open the treasury. Is, is, this, is, this, is, this, is this something that we could reuse, or is it specific to this game? Yes, game? yes. Uh, the banners in particular, we I will aim to reuse. We'll. Um, I'm just going to make them very basic. It's going to have the IFR logo and international front runners on it. That's all. But we also need to do things like little signs, like get some printing done, put some signs up everywhere. Uh, you know, see Brad or Wayne if you're interested in forming an IFR club. We've got people already on um, WhatsApp groups starting to say, what's IFR? So, you know, we will need to contact them and get it going. And some good news is that uh, somebody is online and says, how come there's no front runner club in Mexico City? And we said, oh, God, it's been going twice. And he said, oh, my God, there's a huge issue with gay stuff in Mexico City. Everybody fights each other um, because soccer is by far the biggest sport. Uh, but anyway, he's he is likely to go back and start Mexico City front runners again. And the same thing we've heard from somebody in Guadalajara. Hopefully, we'll get a front runners club there as well. Um, so put signs up and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think anybody has any problem with that. Buddy, do you think that you need, if you're doing some promotion in Hong Kong, do you need any budget for that while we're yeah. at it? I, I'm, I can't think of it on the top of my head, but if there is any promotional effect, uh, any promotional efforts, I think I'm going to try to do it on a shoestring budget. Like, you know, like I'm um, bare minimum. So I am. Um, Unless you got ideas that require some expenses, oh, and but, yeah, know. I don't know that you're going to go to the trouble of setting up a stand somewhere and talking about anything, are you? So it's um probably not quite the same. We will uh, have it's track and fields for five days. We will have a presence there. Yeah, but anyway, but if anything turns up, get back to us by email, and we'll see what we can do if you do have a brainwave about something. Thank you so much for our support, Chris. Okay. We've also okay. got a promotion budget. Yeah. 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 We that's have for events and that sort of thing. Yeah. Scholarship, scholarship uh, didn't work. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the money. Um, I need to talk to Alden about that. Uh, Does everyone just get refunded if you cancel it? I don't know. I don't know how you, I, I've got a, it, no organization or club gave a large amount. Uh, I think the mucking around with it, we might just hold it or the Federation of Gay Games might hold it. So you'll hold, it over, got, hold got, it over the next meeting. Hold it over the next meeting and we'll talk about it then. Yeah, we even got offered a whole registration by somebody who can't go. Nobody took it up. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, we're bent over backwards to try and get this going. And Yeah. So I just want you to know that, yeah. Yeah. I don't want any secrets. Uh, and that is the end of my list. The reason okay. I brought up the oh, gay no, running... Oh, no, it's not, because you had a gay running group in Valencia you want to talk yes. about. Yes. Now, we recently in Sydney had some visitors from Madrid frontrunners and Barcelona frontrunners. And they guarantee me that there is a frontrunners club... Well, sorry, there's a gay and lesbian running club in Valencia. So, is anybody here from Europe? I actually have already told Gali about this, and yeah. I can tell you the name of the of the group. You can Google yes, it. That's what we're trying to find because they they couldn't remember the name. Okay, and I remember, it. and then I've already I already texted Gali about this group back in January. So like when I saw this on display, like you know, I look at my messages with Gali offer. I already told it. If you want to Google it, the name is Valencia. Sama Rooks. Oh, what's that word? Can you spell it for me? S A M A R U C S. S A M A R U C S. But uh, please leave this to Gali because Gali yes, has initiated Gally. contact. So don't don't just like jeopardize what Gali is trying to do. Yeah, and, isn't um, yeah. isn't Gali getting married or something at the moment? So he's probably a bit busy. Probably at war. But, but you know. Like, Gay Games oh, Valencia is still what, like years away. Just yeah, leave leave this to Gali for now. Yes, oh, and, gosh. Yeah. Apparently I hadn't even considered like, that. 
uh, these guys from Madrid and whatever are saying, oh, no, they've got like 50 members. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty big. They're pretty big. And it's just like the ones in Madrid and Barcelona. They are all multi-sports groups. Yes. They are not... Yeah. They're, they're, none of them is um just for running. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's the opposite of how many are, like us in Sydney and Melbourne we got organized yeah. before multi sport. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a trend in both Spain and Germany. That's why in Germany in Frankfurt they still have the word volleyball, you know, in the in the group F V V that's volleyball for yeah, Frankfurt. Borschbill. And... Uh Borschbill. Yeah. Borschbill yeah. means volleyball. <laughs> Borschbill means ball play. <laughs> yeah, it. I think their core group was volleyball initially. But, you know. Okay. Uh, no, I'm. I've got very strong contacts in Germany. But yeah, don't worry. They're they're organised. So let's leave that with Gully yeah. then. Yeah. Hopefully, Gully is not embroiled in this whole Middle East issue. Um, although I think he's probably front and centre to it, isn't he? So there you are. Yeah. We'll get called up. Everybody's getting called up. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so the other the other one there is these are the current open um, clubs. So Brad has been at me, and so has Martin, to confirm these uh, clubs with uh, with a, a letter. So there's no they all have a majority vote. Is it okay if we go ahead and approve them? Yes, please. I wish we can be faster like, on approving because sometimes, like you know, like um, when there is an like a club that is even though they already got like bridge majority. Mm. It, it took a while, and I have to appease them, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Martin, I would I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I've had one or two clubs that have contacted me multiple times asking whether you know they've been approved or not, and I, I didn't want to tell them until anything's official. But yeah, so if we could maybe just um do it promptly, that would be yeah great. Mm -hmm. Like once we reach fifty percent, once we reach like uh, just over fifty percent, we need to like say hassle Chris to send the <laughs> to send the letter he needs to tell us that they've applied. Martin, not the website very much. Well, that's right, Martin. I happened to Martin look at it a couple of weeks ago, and I went on and. And so, if you click so, that link there, it takes you to the, um, the approvals website, so you can go and check them out yourself. But uh, yeah, Martin. Martin has been at me for um, Slovenia and Bristol. Was it Martin? Do you see anything? Is there anything missing there? That yeah, uh, yeah, Bristol and Nottingham and Slovenia. Yeah, right. So hey, I'll get Chris, the letters this week. Oh, okay, okay. great. Thanks. Right, M. Did you have something? Yeah. No, no, no. I just wanted to confirm that you were going to send out a, a letter to the clubs. Yeah, I'll send out the usual letter and I'll send um, to Buddy and Martin the, um, you know, we usually do a like a, a bitmap version of it as well that they can use for socials if they want. Okay. So I think in the last couple of times, it's sort of like, I don't know, um, I can't remember which club we did it for, but um, maybe it was you, Buddy, put up a, like a picture of the letter saying these guys are now uh front runners uh so we'll martin did it like martin is the ah. the genius okay <laughs> thanks martin perfect and actually if you could copy me on the emails going out okay i have one club in there uh helena as well yes yeah it looks like it's got majority approval Oh, quick look. Oh, this is... I've got about 16 different logins for this one. <laughs> By the way, um, when a club is not approved, can it be cleared from the system? For example, like the, uh, the there was one in Thailand um, which I thought was a travel agent, like the Bang Sung Clan yep. um, group. It's just never there, even though I already said, <laughs> can we close that one earlier? That's... I think it's yeah, so we want to remove um yeah, this one, there's a Klang. couple. Yeah. Yeah, there's that crystal stunt runners as well. There's two of them and one should definitely be removed. So which which one, sorry, Martin? Um Bristol and Nottingham. I think there's two clubs that were that were there. So the ones with the majority votes should just be approved, but the other two should be removed. So 
Yeah. So that's Nottingham. Yeah. There's Bristol. So aside from that Thai club, is there any others that need to be deleted? Is it this? Yeah, didn't I just see one, something of Stoke? Hey, is, what about Halifax? I mean, we already have a Halifax club, right? As in Canada? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, I tried this, to... so Astoria as well needs to. Right. Okay. Can I mention something about uh, Halifax? Yep. Okay, I've tried to communicate both with um, with uh, the um, email contacts I had, uh, touch base. I've also uh, reached out to one of our former Ottawa front runner uh, colleague who is supposedly um, moved in um, Halifax. I heard nothing, mute. And that was kind of recently. So I've tried uh, my two contacts at two certain periods during the summer. I heard nothing. Sorry. That's weird, isn't it? Okay. Well, it's the only contacts that I have, and um, it's unfortunate. You tried your best, Vincent. You know, yes. So should I mark this in the uh, report? I can do I it after the meeting. I think it's a good point. Like, you know, if if our clubs, if the clubs that we assume as member clubs, they don't respond to us, did they update? When did they last update their membership? Because uh, when I look at the membership club, sometimes their membership year was still in 2021. So I wonder, like, you know, what happened in the last two years? Have we not been able to get in touch with them? And they're still marked as active, even though their membership for year was 2021. Remember, Chris, uh, when we when we, when we yeah, want we'll to like talk about this, yeah, we want yeah. like to tally up how many clubs we have, and then the financial year. I was expecting all to be twenty twenty three. Some a handful were twenty twenty two, but what surprises me was the one that was still twenty twenty one. So, some of these say you say membership year twenty twenty one, but. Uh -huh. So you're saying that they might not have paid? Uh, no, no, those are those are the the, the the one that has not been approved. Yellow is the pending approval. You are, you gotta scroll down. There yeah. you go. Yeah. See, like so the I'm... white one is 2022. The white one, the the right. like Anchorage. Anchorage. Anchorage, 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 Anchorage. Anchorage yeah. If you scroll down, there should be like one that is like 2021 or 2020. Yeah. Berlin's 2022. Oh. They haven't renewed. There might be one or two that's 2021. Alden mentioned in the AGM because I did the minutes today. Um, mm. that there was like seventeen. There you go, Marseille, twenty twenty one. But they paid. That that payment was in twenty twenty one. Oh, right. right. Or or like I said, but, right. but then if you look at the the update, is twenty twenty three March June. Next, you know, next to twenty twenty one, there is like a a timestamp of twenty twenty three. So I kind of wonder, like, was there a data enter data entry error, or something? Um. Yeah. So if it's white, membership is not current, and some of them are twenty twenty one. Do you want to check Halifax because like Vincent just raised Halifax, so Control F to search, type Halifax, and we'll see how, where Halifax. So this is another club that was um yeah, another club in so the area. There's that... two. There's two Halifaxes in there. Uh, there was one that was trying to. Like, there you go. So this is the the older one which was last updated in 2022, but then they didn't respond to Vincent's contact. Never and then any, there's another a new club, an, another person in Halifax who want to start a frontrunners club in Halifax, and then they apply, hence the yellow row. Um, Vincent tried to connect them. Nobody replied. Mm. So, and then I think uh, when uh, Mark, uh, what like the... Like, um, sorry, aligned government um, was still looking after Canada. Um, I think like, you know, I suggested that like you know like um, Alain connected the new person with the older group, see if they can collaborate, like you know, or re-energize the old group. Uh, but then like you know maybe it's maybe they got the same. Um, maybe Alain got the same kind of like say difficulties that Vincent is having, like lack of I response. I think so. 
Uh, yeah, this, uh -huh. seems, this seems like a familiar problem. Yeah, I meant. Sorry, buddy. I met Anna at our Ottawa Frontrunners um, uh, run uh, yesterday, and I spoke about um, Halifax, and he did say there's he heard nothing from them. I told him yep. my uh, different uh, steps that I've done uh, to reach him, and he says uh, he had the same issue. That's yep. all. You've only got two members. But you've done okay. your best. So what else? So <laughs> so will we delete Halifax altogether then? I think so. The thing is that I wonder, like, if we should delete the old one that failed to respond, and we should contact the new one that seems to want to start a new but club, it, uh, because like the the one who wants to start a new club seems to have more energy, maybe. No, but I don't Vincent, know. I think since you've done that, haven't you, Vincent? The old uh, one or the new one? I have no. I didn't. I was unaware there was a new one. I was unaware there was a new one. So I touched base with my former Ottawa contact living in Halifax. She did not respond. Um, I had a few um, uh, emails um, uh, provided in your comments, uh, Booty. So I tried to read them, not knowing if it was new or old uh, contact in Halifax. So, mm -hmm. um, Booty, would you mind giving me? Uh, uh, the new contacts later in um. Oh, uh, there you go. It's Messenger. on the screen right now. It's on, it's on the screen right now. There's a oh, phone okay. number there, Angel Reyes. Um, and I think Angel also has like Instagram or something. Um, and then I think he he ended up like say running with another local running group or something. But um, he did like you know, and then the, he would like created an email. Halifax oh. frontrunners at gmail .com. I'm not sure if he checks it because, like, say, if if no one's messaging there, he might not bother to check it every day. But if you get, if you can do a phone call, Canadian phone call, probably that works better for you, Vincent. Because, like, sense. say, yeah, that phone call. And then you can you can introduce yourself. Hey, I'm oh, Vincent. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. sorry. Just a sec. One sorry. second and stand by. Okay. Thank you very much. I will follow the, uh, follow up with them uh, very shortly. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Well done, Vincent. I have a quick question. So, how long can we give twelve before? Sorry, mm -hmm. Nick, you're breaking up pretty bad. Okay. What what was that? Hold on. I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, no. Yeah. Um how long should we give you clubs like the beginning of the year? Should we give them Want two months, three months, like how long before we're done chasing them all over? Like well, if they don't answer after a month, we, I'll try again. I'll stalk them on on uh, Facebook Messenger, and then if there's an Instagram, I'll stalk them there. And then it's just at that point, just frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I guess we come back. At you know, after people have tried to get membership out of them or tried to contact them for the membership drive every year when the reps do that, and if they don't get in touch with you repeatedly, then we can report that back in a steering committee meeting and get them taken off like we're doing here. Okay. I have no problems with that. It just, after a while, I just like, okay, I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had to do it for too many because mostly they're coming on board, not leaving or not, not, not renewing. So usually people, that's an active club, but there are a few that have disappeared. I almost did that with Philly until I ended up sending an Instagram message saying it would be really unfortunate after having a club for so long to lose uh, international front runner status. And then they finally answered. <laughs> and Nick, that's where international front runners was formed. In One of the first meetings. That's that would be that would be even more unfortunate. But I don't even, I don't think that they even know that. 
tell them the history, like tell them to read International Frontliners page about the history, the for one of the first meetings. Uh, was it? Do you guys ever do calls? Do you ever, do you guys ever do calls with your regions? Yeah, people uh, usually do. I mean, Woody does. I do it every six months. Like so, I organize and then say, so, yeah, uh -huh. Wayne here represents Sydney, and there's all yeah, a lot of other things. So yeah, it I wouldn't guess. be a bad idea to to get one together for your for all, all the regional reps to have should have a call once every six months or so. Yes. I, and tried, I shared. It's it, it's mainly radio silence. I, it's literally. Well, sometimes know, it I, can I, be I, like I, pulling I, teeth. No, yeah. Oh, beyond that, I've even had one of the other uh, club leaders saying, "Oh, I could do a doodle," but I'm like, "That's great if you do a doodle, but if no one's going to read it or open it, there's no point." <laughs> mm. I agree. Well, before so before like, we had the pandemic, nobody would nobody really wanted to use Skype or anything like that. But now everyone's used to it. it the idea of a conference call is kind of normalized now. So I think it's um it's easier to do one now than it was was back then. But you know your time right. zones as well. So it's um it's probably up to you to make an a something that you think will suit the most people who are going to attend. Unlike me, who's made it this worst possible <laughs> time for everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so uh, and and try and do it that way all right i'll try I'll, I'll, or, you can, honestly, or you can get them honestly, to send a doodle I'll, around and see if anyone responds all right i'll try that out we'll see if, how, how that works and i'll report back i'm not very confident i know i should be like hoping for the best but you know <laughs> you're a bit more mobile now at the moment yes yeah you've, re Great. you've recovered a bit uh yeah, I That's my legs news. are totally fine. My legs are fine. The uh, you're running. <laughs> uh, no, I kind of want to run. I, I could easily run. I tried jogging, but uh, I got a uh, shot down. They're like, eh, we don't want the jostling around. We want the bones to heal fully. Yeah, baby first. steps. Yeah, so I was like, keep it right. sport cycling. <laughs> I, I have. I've, I've been doing a lot of Zwift. I can't. I can't. I can't have any unfortunate circumstances again on Zwift. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, Chris, oh. you, the next one you're talking about is burn front runners. And you, when I was doing the minutes today, yeah, often this particularly pointed out that they are unfinancial. Oh, uh, and he made okay. them unfinancial for a while. Yes, surprising. They give them money. <laughs> well, Shocking. that's right. Well, what, what year was they... that? Like, said twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two? And when I saw that, I was like, wow. Yeah, it was shocking. quite a while back. Yeah. So, if they pay their dues, will we give them the five hundred dollars? So, if, if they pay the fifty bucks, or what is it, twenty five? We were a corporation. We would take out our fees, and that's your annual membership. Oh yeah, okay. So, uh, well, yes, whatever. That's and so I'm... we'll we'll pay their annual fee yeah. <laughs> out of their thing and give them four hundred and seventy five dollars or something. Yeah. What is their annual fee supposed to be? Twenty five or fifty? Well, I don't know how. I can't, I don't recall how many people were there. I didn't look. Uh, let me see if I'm still open on the iPad. No. Oh, yes, I am. Twenty five. How many members? Sorry. So sorry, they've got thirty seven members, 37. it says. Oh, it'll be the fifty dollar. Honestly, Berlin must have had more. Oh, no, I mean, like they... Berlin only having sixteen. If they're no, that is true, I've had it confirmed with them. Um he, one of the big wigs in the gay games is from Berlin front runners and he said they'd been decimated. They've they've got there's a serious problem there. Why Hold is that? On. They recently had a trip. They had a trip to, like, say, like an Italian city running together a marathon, it, and their it, club it, alone yeah. was big, bigger than 15. I, unless they bring the whole club, which is like 16 and then plus friends who are yeah. not members of the club, it looks bigger. Yes, they're all part of that Vorspiel. They're called Vorspiel yeah. Berlin, and um, it's 
Buddy, they could be telling lies, but they, this yeah. guy <laughs> is a very ex senior executive. There'd be no reason why he would keep. I know, it. I know. It's but just he... Jens Kastner, right? Jens Kastner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, when I when I lived in Berlin, I couldn't get into their runs because they run far out in the forest. They didn't yeah. want to run in Tier Garden, even though like the gay village is next to Tier Garden. I don't understand why. And now there is another LGBTQ running group yeah, for it's expats. A very old club too. Very old. Uh huh. I think they should run around Tier Garden and one one of the weekends. Like, if they already run on Saturdays, do Sunday on Tier Garden. I we ran with them after Amsterdam, so ninety eight, and they ran in those gardens then, but you know, they were much bigger then, and very active. All right. Secretary position. Just please, if anybody can think of anyone who wants to be secretary, please let me know. I don't know whether we need to advertise again. <laughs> Is there uh what's what's the trick? How how do we get somebody to be secretary? To be honest, Chris, to be advertising right now just before gag it's gonna get swallowed up in all Pointless. the other yeah. yeah. Maybe it maybe in the new year or something. No, or in just December. After, just after. Yeah. We might find somebody for you. Hey, Chris, this is Brad F. And, um, you know, maybe after we get finished with this gay games, you could give me a call and we could talk about it. I've been a secretary in the past and I know what a thankless job it is. So, um, but yeah, let me get through the gay games and stuff first and then, you know, reach out to me. Okay. Thanks, Brad. Um, any other business? Nope. That's a snappy meeting then. Oh, uh, next meeting? When do you want to have another meeting? This side of Christmas or when we make it in the new year? Unless something happens at the gay games, we don't really need to meet until maybe Christmas, new year. Do you want to meet mid-January or is that about end of January, maybe? Or what? What's a good time? Well, the beauty so of if... having the gay games is that we don't have another one for three years. So we'll, the whole, all, our focus and our main attention is then. If we are not going to have another one until next year, um, so we usually publish newsletter like January and July, right? I thought like, you know, we should, I, I usually like, you know, if we have like a meeting in November, then I should like ask, oh yeah, can we get like this club submissions like in December for starting from 1st of December until the end of December, then I'll work it out like so that we'll, we'll publish it in the beginning of January. Um, since we're not going to have another meeting until then, like, you know, I guess like, let's bring it up now. Can we start calling out for submissions, like say, what like mid or late November until like end of December Christmas? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Sounds good. Please. You'll get all the clubs that are attending either of the games. You get lots of information then. Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully nobody's in jail. So what are we trying to do there? Um, newsletter. Usually Business with the newsletter. club, club, club uh, submissions, like, you know, like, um, just tell your club, uh, wait, like when, oh, I just want to agree on the timeline first. And once yep. we agree on the timeline, like, you know, we have like uh, like an email so that like, you know, like um, we'll just like send directly and then we, I, I will also CC all of the reps here mm -hmm. so that like, you know, like um, once it's sent out, Everybody will have the same instruction, like you know, on how to like say draft like a, like an interesting um club update, like you know, and also like say um yeah, like you know, like, I guess we agree. We we just mm -hmm. need to agree on the timeline, like maybe like say, what do you think of mid November until end of December, or like say the beginning of December, the whole of December. I think whole of December simple? because people will be getting okay. over the gay games in yep, November. Right. So I agree. Yeah. And then, like, say, I would be able to get, like, say, reports from Wayne and Brad about gay games in Guadalajara, and I'll try to craft up something about the report about gay games in Hong Kong, 
And um, if anybody else have articles to submit, um, feel free to like submit it as early as you can, even from now. So you don't, if you find the time now, you know. So it's not just, it's not just club updates, right? It's also submissions from you. Like, you know, like if you have any interesting articles. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, and I'll ask um, like the treasurer as well for like say, um, you know, like um, treasurer's report. If I understand, uh, last time, uh, Goody, uh, uh, you Thanks. sent a, a generic email to all the clubs. Thanks, there is a mailing list that I, if I send it, it goes to everyone, uh, every club uh, in the contact database. And mm -hmm. also, like, you know, I also like, uh, put in uh, the address to all club reps, which you mm -hmm. should be included now. Uh, in, mm -hmm. I, I hope, Brad Miyasato, have you added Vincent LeMay? Oh, he just left. It just left. Timing. Okay, okay. We can <laughs> follow you... up with Brad Miyasato. Oh, but yeah, that's right. We'll follow up with Brad. But Vincent, if you want to just um you have Brad's email. Brad Miyazato's email, or do you have uh no. <laughs> uh, uh, you're on mute. I, I can't confirm. I, I I don't know um if I do or not. Sorry for that. It's the webmaster, so I think it's webmaster at internet. I'll I'll send you his email address. Thank you. So I'm pretty sure I am part of the communications list. I do receive emails. Um, if not uh, under Messenger, I can get um, some information. Okay. Brad's working on the marathon there. That's why he had yes. to get off. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, so next meeting, when do we want to have it? At the end of January? Or let's just say <laughs> January. We can sort that out. Okay, is that everything? I'm planning to have a meeting with my kidding representative. Uh, like after I was waiting for this uh, meeting, um, are, are we going to have uh, uh, this um, document available so I can I can give them the news from international front runners? Just uh, the minutes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll send that round to the IFR group, and because you don't seem to be in it, I'll I'll send it to you as well. Thank you. Right Thank after you. this, so that nobody has to transcribe it like last time. <laughs> okay anything else all good okay thanks everyone thank you very much okay good night good night folks good night bye bye